Is that running? Is that running? Huh? It's running? Alright. Get in here. What do you want me to say? All right. Oh. My name's Jubilee Jonesburg. I'm 332 years old. I've been around longer than anyone I know. They're all long gone now. Mama, go follow friends. This is my son, Billy Buckets. He's sweet to me. He's a good boy. Made me some BT. That's what we call it. I have BT. It's a BT. That's my son, Billy Buckets. He's sweet to me. He got this new camera here. He's gonna put my stories in it. I try to remember them. I got so many stories, I don't know if I remember them all. I'll try. He made me some BT. Yeah, this good. Got bees in it. Yeah, in a bag. Put hot water on it. Live bees. Well, until you pour the water on them, then they're dead, but they're alive before that. So it's good for you. Hmm. Keeps your mind sharp. Puts hair on your chest. Some people say that's why I live 332. Give my BT. That's your buzzing. You get a B. It's a BT. Mm, it's good. It's got bees in it. In a bag. Put hot water on them. Live, live bees. Well, till you put the water on them, then they're dead. But life before that, buzzing. It's hard for someone like me to remember everything that's happened to her. That's why I drink my BT, try and jog my memory. When I was a little girl, my mama took me to the fair. I remember all the billowing clouds and the crowds and the smells. So many smells that day. We saw the elephants. They had these funny noses and picking things up with them. I remember that. They're sweet. My mama got me some corn. I didn't need it. I gave it straight to the elephant. The little baby elephant drank all my juice and ate my corn. I didn't mind. That it was a cute little thing to me. Mama was worried about it. She think you're not supposed to give that to the elephants, but I didn't mind. I love them. And of course, we saw the bees. My family's been into bees for generations. My mama took me there. We saw all the beehives. We saw the bee king, the bee queen. Even those bee jesters, the little bees with the hats on and buzz all over. They had these bee jesters. They'd sit on your shoulder and do a little dance. Yeah, it was a sweet thing. I love that. You know, bees know, bees know a lot of secrets if you talk to them right. 
that Jester B told me something that day I never forgot. He told me the secret of the universe. It didn't make sense to me. He's jabbering on his bee buzzing about dimensions and gods. And he's going on and on. He said something about she said something about folding dimensions over each other so you could walk across time and space. I didn't make sense to me, but a few hundred years later, it sure as heck does. I've been tunneling all over the place. Yeah, I figured it out. That little bee jester told me all sorts of stuff that day. He did that little dance on my shoulder. And then he told me. He told me all of those secrets about way back then. I didn't understand him at the time. I thought, what's this little bee talking about? I never even heard a word of mansion. One day I was out in the field looking up at them billowy clouds. We had a storm coming in from the east. Yeah, it was going to be a thunderstorm, I knew it. I could feel the air tingling. You know, sometimes you can feel the air tingling when the lightning's coming. It starts to stand up. Your hair sticks up. So, I was feeling that tingle. And I was thinking about what that bee said. I don't know why I thought about it. Something about that tingle. I thought about that little bee on my shoulder. All those things he said about dimensions. And before he knew it, something opened up in front of me. Some fold in the universe opened up and I could see right through it. I could see everything right through that fold. I could see yesterday. I could see tomorrow. I could see all the planets from Jupiter, Mars, Venus, what have you. I could see the dinosaurs, I could see, I could see my mama having sex with my daddy, getting pregnant, falling out of love, having me. I could even see myself at the fair that day. And talk to that little bee. Yeah, through that fold I saw everything. And I understood what that bee meant about folds and dimensions. So I stepped into it. I took my leg, I lifted up my skirt, and I stuck my foot right in that fold through space and time. It tangled too, just like that storm does. My feet were starting to tangle like when you got pins and needles. Just like that, when you got pins and needles that were going all up my legs. I didn't get scared. After you've been around long enough, you don't get scared, really. So I stepped into it. I ended up a million places at once. I mean it. I, I was there with the dinosaur. I was there tomorrow, yesterday, with my mama. I held in her hand and she gave birth to me. I was everywhere at once and I was having a million thoughts all at once. I think I had every thought you can have in that one second. Billy doesn't believe me, but it's true. I don't think there's any thought I haven't had now. There's a hat hurting my head. Uh, Billy, 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 give me some more BT. Put those fresh beads in it.
Three of them. Make sure they're buzzing. Hats hurt my head. <laughs>